Hey there, baseball enthusiasts. Welcome back to Baseball Spark. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey through the captivating careers of two baseball greats, Robin Yount and Corey Seager. We'll explore the life stories, achievements, and the intriguing question of whether Corey Seager is the next Robin Yount. So grab your mitts and get ready for a double play of baseball history. To understand the legacy of Robin Yount, let's rewind to a young boy's dream in the making. Robin R. Yount was born on September 16, 1955 in Danville, Illinois. The seeds of his baseball journey were planted early in his life. His father, Larry Yount, was a former professional baseball player, igniting Robin's passion for the sport. As a high school standout at Taft Union High School in California, it was clear that Yount was destined for greatness. In 1973, he was drafted by the Milwaukee Brewers in the third round, but Yount was determined to graduate high school before venturing into the major leagues. Now shifting our gaze to the modern diamond, let's explore the origins of Corey Seager. Born on April 27, 1994 in Charlotte, North Carolina, Corey Drew Seager grew up in a family that radiated a love for baseball. With two brothers, Kyle and Justin, who shared his passion, the Seager household was a breeding ground for baseball talent. Corey's journey to the major leagues began with a splash. Selected by the Los Angeles Dodgers in the first round of the 2012 MLB Draft, he wasted no time, making his debut on September 3, 2015. It was immediately evident that the Dodgers had a rising star in their midst. In 1974, at just 18 years old, Robin Yount became the third youngest player in history to make his Major League debut. It was a significant moment, and Yount's versatility stood out as he played as an outfielder during his rookie year. However, the real turning point in Yount's career came in 1982, when Brewers manager Harvey Kuhn made a daring decision. He moved Yount to shortstop, a position Yount had rarely played professionally. It was a bold move, but one that would define his career as he embraced the challenge and excelled. Corey Seager's journey in the major leagues took off in spectacular fashion during the 2016 season. He was named the National League Rookie of the Year, setting the stage for a promising career. His accomplishments included an All-Star selection, a Silver Slugger award, and a third-place finish in MVP voting. Seager's potent batting and remarkable skills as a shortstop made him a force to be reckoned with. The year 1982 was a turning point in Robin Yount's career. Not only did he lead the Brewers to the World Series, but he also delivered a career-defining season. Yount batted an incredible 331, hitting 29 home runs and driving in 114 RBIs. His extraordinary consistency and power at the plate earned him the American League MVP award, making him the first shortstop to achieve this honor since Lou Bordreau in 1948. In 2020, Corey won his first World Series MVP honor when he hit 400 with two home runs and seven runs batted in as the Dodgers beat the Rays in six games. He was also the NLCS MVP that year when he slugged five home runs in seven games against the Braves. In 2021, the baseball world witnessed a pivotal moment as Corey Seager entered free agency. The surprising twist? He signed a massive 10-year, $325 million contract with the Texas Rangers. This monumental deal was the largest in the history of the Rangers franchise surpassing Alex Rodriguez's record-setting $252 million contract in 2000. It marked a fresh chapter in Seager's career and a new adventure in Texas. Robin Yount's career was decorated with numerous accolades. He earned MVP honors twice, appeared in three All-Star games, and claimed five Gold Glove awards. He also proved to be a formidable slugger, securing the Silver Slugger Award multiple times. But one of the most awe-inspiring aspects of Yount's career was his remarkable consistency. He achieved an astonishing 11 consecutive seasons with 150 or more hits, a testament to his skill, work ethic, and love for the game. Fast forward to 2023, a year that Corey Seager will never forget. His outstanding performance on the field included a batting line of 327, 390, 623, with 33 home runs and a career-high 96 RBIs. Seager led the American League in doubles with 42 and boasted a jaw-dropping 48.4% of hard-hit balls, showcasing his prowess as a hitter. He was named to the All-Star team for the second consecutive year. 
Also, he was World Series champ and named World Series MVP for the second time in his career, a feat that only four players, including Seager, have accomplished. Sandy Koufax, Bob Gibson, Reggie Jackson, and Corey Seager. Reggie Jackson and Corey Seager are the only two players to win the award for two different teams. With the backstories complete, now it's time for the showdown, where we'll look into the astounding stats of Corey Seager and Robin Yount during their first nine seasons and answer the question, is Corey Seager the next Robin Yount? Let's begin with wins above replacement, or war. In his first nine seasons, Corey Seager accumulated an impressive 32 war, compared to 37.5 for Robin Yount. Turning our attention to games played, Corey Seager appeared in 906 games compared to Robin Yount's 1,240 games. Moving on to plate appearances, Seager made 3,909 plate appearances to 5,257 for Yount. Now let's talk about hits. Corey Seager secured an impressive 1,019 hits, and Robin Yount had 1,363. The power game is up next. Corey Seager hit 170 home runs to Yount's 96 home runs. Now let's discuss runs batted in or RBIs. Corey Seager drove in 543 runs, and Yount had 553 RBIs. Stolen bases are next. Corey Seager swiped 17 bases to Yount's 116. Now let's talk about batting average. Corey Seager maintained a batting average of 292, and Robin Yount had an average of 281. Now let's focus on slugging percentage. Corey Seager slugged 512 to Robin Yount's 416. In this thrilling showdown, after a close examination of their first nine seasons, the winner is Corey Seager. It looks like Corey Seager absolutely could be the next Robin Yount if Corey can stay at his current pace, stay healthy, and get some more years under his belt. But the excitement doesn't end there. Let's talk about the investment opportunities that lie within the world of baseball cards. In October 2023, a PSA 9 Robin Yount 1975 Topps Rookie Card number 223 recently sold for a staggering $3,050. This demonstrates the enduring value and appeal of vintage baseball cards. On the other hand, in November 2023, a PSA 10 2016 Topps Chrome number 150 rookie card of Corey Seager recently sold for $68. This illustrates the potential for investing in the cards of contemporary players. Now, why does Baseball Spark believe that investing in Corey Seager cards could be a fantastic opportunity? Well, one significant reason is Corey Seager's outstanding performance in the 2023 World Series where he secured the World Series MVP award. This accomplishment places him among the elite in the history of the game. Furthermore, comparing Corey Seager's early stats to those of the Hall of Famer Robin Yount reveals an exciting parallel. Seager's power at the plate, consistent performance, and versatility are reminiscent of Yount's early years. Yount's vintage cards have become highly sought after by collectors and investors, and Seager's cards have the potential to follow a similar trajectory. So if you're considering investing in baseball cards, Corey Seager's cards might offer an incredible opportunity. As he continues to make a mark on the game, the potential for his cards to increase in value remains high. Just as Robin Yount's cards have become iconic and valuable, Corey Seager's cards may very well be the future gems of the baseball card collecting world. Both Corey Seager and Robin Yount have showcased incredible talents and their respective careers have provided fans and collectors with moments to cherish. Investing in their cards is not just a way to own a piece of baseball history, it's also a savvy investment choice. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Baseball Spark. Stepping away from the mic, but not from the action, we'll catch you in the next inning.